Hi everybody, I hope you can see me in the gathering gloom. <laughs> uh, it's been an exciting day today. Oh, that camera's low again. Why is it that it always looks so it's staring at my chest? Is that any better? <laughs> Probably fair you're looking at the top of my head now. Uh, well, what am I wearing today? Well, I started off just wearing the dress today with the brooch. And uh, then when it got a little bit chewier, I put on my little bit of a frou-frou scarf that I made and then uh, true to layering the next thing would be this evening will be the shawl you know that uh, Z she calls Zelda Zelda uh, J oh <laughs> here we go again sorry for Zelda uh, J H or something or R H Whoa. anyway so what have I been doing? Um, well, you saw that I'd finished off the little yellow bolero and uh, I've also done a blue one, different pattern. It's out of the book I showed you the other day, you know, the one that opens up, yeah, that one. So it's pretty, that one. I love to, do, I like doing that pattern actually, it was nice. Done all in one up to the armholes and then you divide it. I did change the sleeves though, because I couldn't understand the pattern. <sighs> I was having a brain fade moment. Right, what did I promise to show? Oh, well, I finished the the knitted socks, so they're going to be going to uh, my sister-in-law tomorrow. And then the crochet socks. These started off as a pattern and finished up my own because I really couldn't do the heel. Um, how can I describe I did the heel? Well, I started off the toe up off a pattern, went round circular until I got to the heel. And then I just had a blank moment, didn't know what to do, whatever. So what I did was I just divided the stitches into half. Half there, half I left plain. I don't know if you can see it there. Half there and half I left plain. And then what I did was I did, uh, well, if it's US, it's single crochet. If it's me, it's double crochet. Just did a piece up like that to make the rest of the length of the sock, yeah? So that's the length of the sock and there is actually a little seam up the middle of the back a little narrow seam and then what I did after that was I went round the you know where I'd got the, the single crochet there I went round again and just joined it all together so it's turned out to be quite a reasonable heel um, all I had to do was just seam just down the back very gently you know Obviously flat seam, you don't want a bulky seam down the middle of your heel, do you? Uh, the only thing is it's got a little bit of a point on it, but it's all right when you get your foot in it, yeah. So those are my very simple socks because I couldn't be bothered doing anything a bit too fancy. Well, what came today? Today, my book came. It's the, um, I don't know why they call it the Vogue Knitted Crochet Edition. Um, I couldn't get it anywhere here. I probably would have got it eventually if I'd have waited about a year. Um, I tried to get it online and all I could get was um, downloadable, you know, the, what do you call them, I can't remember, oh do you know, my brain has just gone today, absolutely gone. Uh, there's a few nice, very nice things in it that I like, I like the dress, I'm not saying I like it because I would wear it, but I would like to make it, you know, and the top, but the one I actually got it for is, well I've got bits in the middle. I love the colours in that, by the way, the granny square. Can't go wrong with granny squares, can you? Don't care. Never go out of fashion. Um, not keen on the blue cardigan, but I quite like the, the red one. And I just can't find the one I really bought it for. I bought it for one particular design. Although those are nice as well, that's like a plaid. If you're in the US, you can get this one, no problem. But if you're in the UK, I really don't know how you can get it. Uh, I'm not keen on those. Good old pineapple seems to be appearing everywhere, doesn't it? Um, very lacy shawl. With a very sort of hippie top. You know, reminds me a bit of the hippies or the, even the twenties really, in the era. Um, you know, the flowers in the hair and all that jazz. Why can I not find the one? Oh, I've got a minute. Yeah, I've got it into 
But we'll get into the wild and wonderful there. <laughs> Maybe I should be wearing wild and wonderful soon as I've decided to be a fashionista. <laughs> In my case, fashionista actually just means wear a few beads. Um, where is it gone? Lost, oh, there it is. That's the one I actually bought the whole book for. It's that one because I love it. Now, it's actually done in a multicoloured yarn, but finding one with a long length like that, I don't know. Maybe I'd have to do it in, you know, like patchwork, do my own design. And the shawl, I think the shawl is lovely as well. I mean, the one thing about Vogue is that they do have unusual patterns. You know, they're not run of the mill. I mean, those are two stripey ones. That stripe's done the other way. You know, if you want an ordinary cardigan, then don't buy the book. But if you like something a bit unusual, then uh, by all means. But as usual, I like some of the things that are, um, you know, in the adverts. <laughs> I love looking at the adverts. There's usually something in I really like in the adverts, but can't find one at the moment. But uh, usually I do. I usually look at that and think, oh, I like that. Hmm. Advert. Right, what am I doing at the moment? Well, I'm just using some very thick, chunky because... I bought um, a floaty top, as you know, the other day when I was in Manchester with um, Mel. And then I bought a dress like this, only plain colour in rust that needs ironing. What are these strange things? Irons? You plug them in the wall and they go hot. Don't be doing things like that. But I might have to actually do an iron. Probably found the iron doesn't work. It's been so long <laughs> since I ironed anything. Anyway, it's just going to be a plain chunky show just in case uh, the weather's not so nice that I can't wear my floaty top tomorrow. But I will be determined to wear my floaty top if I can. What have I been doing? Well, I had on beads the other day. I think I told you about these beads. They came from the Caribbean uh, that my mum bought me back. The painted seeds. She went on a cruise to Barbados, Jamaica, wherever it was. She brought me the beads back. I love these because they go with so many colours. Anyway, I've been yesterday and today I was up in the charity shop. I don't know whether they're the same as your thrift shops in America, but our charity shops are what people donate things that they don't want anymore and they sell them in aid of charity. Well, I've got a lovely set of chunky, chunky beads. I've got a dress in the jade green and a top in jade green. So they'll look nice with those. Um, a lovely bracelet. Nice stretchy bracelet in my favourite colour of purple. Um, a brown bracelet in wood. I paid the vast sum of a pound for some of these. Two pounds for some of them. I went mad, pushed the boat out. I didn't... Uh, oh, that's the bracelet I already had. That's what I had on today. Uh, that, I love that. It sort of reminds me of... Um, bikers, you know? Studs, whatever you want to call it. Love that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got those because I liked them. I mean, they're only cheap plastic beads, but they just reminded me a bit of jade or whatever. Oh, somebody's tied a thunking great knot in the middle of that. That's so pretty, isn't it? A big thunky knot. Never mind. Um, and these, because I loved them. I mean, they look weird, don't they? But I just loved them. They're so, so, I don't know which is the back and which is the front, but I just thought they were great. Um, of course I've got, oh I'd bought those before, these are some that I had from, in from before, I think, no, these are new, I've got some like these in green upstairs that I've bought before, I've even had to order, um, what do you call it, a stand <laughs> to put my necklaces on now because I'm not putting them back in the drawer to get all tangled up, and these are black but they've got like different iridescent colours on them. Those would wear with quite a few colours. They would wear with purple and green, blue even at a pinch. And, oh, what have I got here? Oh, that's another one in shades of reds, because I've got quite a bit of red. And uh, I think that's it, really. Yep, because these are all things I've had before. That's a... Well, it's actually a hairpin, but I would use it on the shawl. So that's about it. I've ordered quite a few 
floaty scarves that have cost me about a pound each, post free, <laughs> from Hong Kong. But they will not be arriving for quite a while. Uh, I don't know quite when the, the gizmo things for hanging scarves and things are. They're coming from Hong Kong as well. They're like a coat hanger with little rails on and on slip. I think they're meant for ties or, you know, chiffonny scarves and things like that. So that's what I've, um, I've been ordering and what I've been doing. And I've just sent a parcel off to somebody in America who I'm not going to mention because it's a surprise. And another one to Erin. And after going to the post office and posting them, I think it would have been better hopping on a cheap flight <laughs> and delivering them. <laughs> oh, why is postage so expensive? I know now why I can't get the, um, you know, the things to, from America. Why I can't get them because they're so dear. The postage is so, so expensive. No wonder we don't post things to friends anymore. It's no wonder we don't send cards, is it? So, uh, oh, well, you have a nose. You see what's going on across the road? <laughs> I live in a very quiet street, so when anything happens, I have to go and have a, a good look, a good gander, a good nosy. Because we live so quiet, you know, that nothing ever much happens. Anyway, tomorrow it's the pre-launch of Cloud Nine. I'm just popping up for an hour. I don't have a stall because I couldn't guarantee that I could be there. And also, I can't leave Meladio here. Um, these two will be going back in next door because after the fight we had the other night when I got bitten, <sighs> we're just keeping them apart. <laughs> they are all right unless there's food involved. And I'm afraid little Poppy, when she sees food of Buster's, she has to have it. And Buster, of course, doesn't want her to have it, so we have a fight. And Buster, I don't know what the heck he's doing on this. He's throwing all the sheets and everything off the sofa. So that's about it really. I'm going to take my camera with me tomorrow and hopefully I can, but it won't be the shop. I mean, if you're looking on my um, Urban Gypsy page on Facebook, you'll see a picture of the shop and you'll see that it's not completed yet. Uh, the outside's looking really nice, but the inside isn't painted or got any shelves or anything like that at the moment. So it will only be um, a video of the market tomorrow, but uh, hopefully I shall remember to use my camera and remember to take it with me. So I think that's uh, about it for now. Well, yeah, that's it. I think I probably think of a million things when I cut off the air, but that's it for now. Anyway, bye for now. Bye.